Welcome to the new interface of Cisco Finesse, the next generation agent desktop. In this video, we are going to look at an agent's desktop experience when using the new Finesse interface. Now, enter your login credentials. You can now view your Finesse desktop. The first thing that you will notice is the left navigation bar, and your company's name and logo. If you have moved from an earlier version of Finesse, you will now observe, that all the tabs which were arranged on the top horizontally, have been moved to the left navigation bar. You will also find that there are icons associated with these tabs. By default, the left navigation bar is pinned. You can unpin the left navigation bar, if you choose to view more information across the desktop screen. You are in an automatic not ready state, when you log in. This is true for voice, chat, and email channels. To change the state for voice calls, click the drop down list, and all the states available to you are listed. If configured for chat and email, the icon will show enabled, and ready and not ready states are listed in the drop down. Your state must be set to ready, to accept incoming calls, chats, or email requests. A popover of preset duration will appear on your desktop, with a set of configured customer details. If you are away from the Finesse desktop during an incoming call request, a toaster notification will appear on the screen. Clicking on the notification will take you back to the Finesse desktop, where the configured popover will be displayed. You can answer a call by clicking on the answer button, that appears on the incoming call popover. You are now in the talking state. While on a call, you can put the call on hold, transfer, or consult. If Finesse Desktop Chat has been configured for your contact center, you can chat with a supervisor, and seek assistance during the call. To do so, click on the Desktop Chat icon, search for your supervisor and engage in a chat session. In this case, based on Rick's guidance, Sandra would engage in a desktop chat session with Josh, and then transfer the call to Josh. Now, you can transfer the call to Josh, by searching from the phone book entries. Once you transfer the call, you move into the wrap-up state. The wrap-up state timer, displays the time within which you can apply the wrap-up reason. You can select the wrap-up reasons from the drop-down list, or by searching in the wrap-up popover and clicking on Apply. A check icon is an indication that the wrap-up reason has been successfully applied. If you are configured for force wrap-up reason, you cannot change your state unless a wrap-up reason is applied, or the wrap-up timer expires, and your state is then changed automatically. To make an outgoing call, Click on the phone icon. You can either search for a contact from your phone book list, or manually dial out the number, and click call. You can also edit a phone book number, and call out. See the latest team update sent by your supervisor, as a banner message in real time. For multiple messages, a number is displayed, on clicking will present the latest active message. Click the My History icon from the navigation bar, to view your recent, and state history. Clicking on the call icon, in the Agent Call History gadget, allows you to directly make an outgoing call to the customer. Clicking on the drop-down next to the User Profile icon, will display your name, role, and your extension. You can sign out of the desktop application by clicking on Sign Out, and selecting one of the listed reasons.